And brothers and sisters, as we draw close to the end of our church year, the lectionary doesn't spare us the tears that Jesus wept as he approached Jerusalem, where all prophets die. He wept because Jerusalem had failed to recognize their hour of visitation. This coming Sunday, our liturgy will celebrate <clears throat> Jesus Christ crucified as King of the universe. It's God's answer to death and evil. Jesus crucified becomes the King of the universe. Jesus will triumph, but we are not to, and we are also given a, a span of the vision of the end times that will, at this end of the calendar year, the, the liturgical year, and as we enter into Advent, which is meant to be a season that will prepare us, will prepare us for a rebirth, a rebirth in hope at Christmas. Year by year, season by season, we take our place in the long pilgrimage through history toward God's purpose. God's creation is still meant to achieve God's purpose and the promises of, of grace and accountability in the end times. But we have so much. One of the problems being that we have so much vying for our attention. What Jesus promises his disciples is that we will find our lives if we lose them in service of others. Isn't that the summary of Jesus' own life, giving of himself in service of others? We are invited to do as Jesus did. And so if we shoulder our crosses and share in our blessings with one another, surely our names will be written in the book of life. <clears throat>